In the United States, there are currently more storage units than Domino's Pizza, Dunkin' Donuts, Wendy's, McDonald's, Costco's, Walmart's, and Starbucks combined. Yet with all of those units, there's still an average of a 96% fill rate on those. That means that there is a very high demand for these storage units. And that's because one in every nine American families uses a storage unit. So personally, I wanted to get into this storage business, but I didn't want to find investors, take out a loan, do due diligence on a property, go through all of that paperwork. I just wanted to take an asset that I already had, that was my garage, and use that to generate passive income. So I decided to take a look at the Neighbor app. I used my house in Seattle. I had a garage that needed to be cleaned out and I needed an excuse to actually go and clean that out. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at exactly how much money I made renting out my garage to my house in Seattle over a five month period. We'll also take a look at the process, what it looks like getting onboarded with the Neighbor app and listing a garage or another space out for rent. It was an incredibly easy process for me. After going on the Neighbor website, I simply listed my property, the total square footage of that garage. I then cleaned out the garage, which as I mentioned is something that I needed to do. And I set a price for that monthly rental unit. Now Neighbor has some nice features built into it which allows you to have some estimates to look at for what you should price your unit based upon other prices in the area. For me, I decided to simply just go with the suggested prices that they had listed instead of trying to bump that up, even though I think I could have gotten more money out of it. To me, it was not only just a passive income thing, but it was also a way for me to you know, potentially help out a fellow neighbor. So the guy that ended up renting out my garage, he was looking for a house to buy in Seattle, but he hadn't quite purchased one yet. And so he was renting and then he was gonna buy his own house and it would have space to keep his pop-up camper. But for the time being, he just wanted to keep it in my garage. And that time ended up being about five months. And there was a easy way for us to communicate within the app. So when that time was nearing an end, he just sent me a message. He came by, he picked up that trailer. The total time for me to kind of get the trailer into my garage and help him get it out was maybe an hour top. So this is truly a form of passive income for me and a way for me to kind of feel good about using something that I had to generate that income because the neighbor app is six times safer than your traditional storage facility and they also give you a million dollars in insurance. So if anything happens, you know that you're covered by neighbor. But let's go ahead and dive into the profits because I know that's a big concern everyone here that is looking to generate that passive income. Uh, maybe your expenses have gone up recently with uh, you know inflation in the economy and you're looking to kind of rent out a space that you have through the neighbor app. So if we go in here to my dashboard, we can see that over the five month period, I was charging uh, this neighbor customer $75 a month to rent out that space. So over that total time period, I made $375 of passive income through the app. Now I would estimate that if you adjusted those numbers for inflation with this market right now, with so many people moving, buying new houses, looking for storage space in the time being, I think those numbers could be quite a bit higher if you're currently looking to rent out a space through the Neighbor app. So here are my suggestions for anybody who's been considering using Neighbor as a form of passive income. If you have a garage or another space that maybe needs a little bit of cleaning, use this as incentive to go ahead and do that. Now, personally, I would say set your prices about what neighbor recommends because this is the way to get your unit filled fast. And of course, that time is money because for every week that you're not renting out that garage space, you're missing out on that passive income. You certainly could rent it out for hire as neighbor tends to save its customers 50% compared to alternative storage. So for me, I felt like it was a way to generate passive income and also in a sense kind of give back to the community because I was leasing out my space at a price that was cheaper than the next alternative. I would also say take some time and chat with the person who's interested in renting out your garage or your space because you'll actually meet some really nice people here on this app. Uh, they're gonna be happy that they're getting a very secure, safer space with a ton of insurance, a million dollars coverage for any damages, and potentially at a bit cheaper of a rate. So they're gonna be happy, they're gonna wanna meet you, talk to you, they might be new to the neighborhood, and get to know them a little bit and you know feel good about giving back while also earning that passive income. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to leave a comment down below. As I mentioned, it is super simple. 
The website's very easy to navigate. As soon as you have those pictures and you are ready to take a measurement of your unit, you can put up that listing and you're gonna start getting some hits on that space really quick. So as far as different passive income strategies go, this is one that you can set up quick and start seeing those earnings in a very short time period. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for